Jonathan Dermer. I am Alex Yaman, and I am the lector. Please silence any electronic devices so that they do not sound your advance. Please stand.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call you our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts that spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised us all. We pray you are God of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and precede him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you across the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water towards Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Congratulations again to Kathy and Jack Weider on your 50th wonderful anniversary today. We are so delighted to be able to share this with you. And also for the Zuniga family as well. Congratulations. Back in 1955, an age or two ago, Martin Luther King Jr. was a young pastor. He was all of 27 years old when he moved from Atlanta, Georgia to Montgomery, Alabama to take up a new pastor. Shortly after he arrived, one of his parishioners, a young woman named Rosa Parks, was arrested when she refused to give up her seat on a segregated bus. This was his first assignment as a pastor, and he was unsure how to respond. But he took a step of faith with his congregation, and they started a boycott of the city buses in the first step of their campaign for civil rights. That campaign unleashed a tidal wave of hatred and revenge against him. He received up to 40 letters and phone calls a day, cursing him and threatening him with murder and violence. One night, after a particularly threatening phone call, he went into the kitchen to make a pot of coffee, and then he sat down at the table. Something inside him said, you know, you can't call Daddy now. He's up in Atlanta. You have to call on that something. That being that your Daddy told you about. This power that finds a way when there is none. Later, King said that he discovered then that religion was for real and that, quote, I had to get to know God for myself. Quote. Sitting at the kitchen table and bowed over it, he began to pray aloud. Oh Lord, I'm down here trying to do what is right. The people are looking to me for leadership, and if I stand before them without strength and courage, they too will falter. I'm at the end of my powers. I have nothing left. I can't face it alone. And then it seemed an inner voice was speaking to him with quiet assurance. Martin Luther, stand up for righteousness. Stand up for justice. Stand up for truth. 
And lo, I will be with you even unto the end of the world. King heard the voice of Jesus telling him to keep up the struggle. In that moment, King was later to say, he felt God's presence like never before. He sang a song to encourage himself. Then his fears left him. His uncertainty vanished. He made his decision. He did not quit. And he did not take the easier route of going alone. Up until this point in his life, Martin Luther King Jr. had lived in the shadow of his preacher father, who was also a pastor, and in the shadow of his father's faith life. Now he had to move from the conventional faith inherited from his father to a personal and direct faith in his own God, a faith upon which his own life and that of his young family now depended. This is what happened to Peter in our Gospel story today. Up until this point, Peter was a loyal follower of Jesus, but had never risked anything very large. Now Peter had to leave the security of the boat and his companions to venture out into the deep on his own. For Peter, faith was now getting both very personal and very real. Following Jesus was now, getting out of that boat, could be a life or death proposition. For both Peter and Dr. King, this moment birthed a new type of faith in them. And for both of them, it presaged their future path of discipleship that would lead eventually to the cross and martyrdom. We may never be called on to start a national movement for civil rights or to walk on water. So how does this connect to us? Recently, I've been reading a book called The Grief Club by Melody B. You know, dealing with different types of catastrophic loss in our lives. It may be the loss of a loved one or the loss of career, getting into homelessness, loss of health were lost from addiction. In the book, she distinguishes, although it's not overtly a religious book, she distinguishes between what she calls simple faith and radical faith. Simple faith is the kind many of us were raised with that says, if I do good things, then only good things will happen to me. If I'm a good person, People I love won't die. God will protect and take care of me. Radical faith is bold. It is not squeamish, fundamentalist, judgmental, or blaming. It's courageous. It says, I can be a good, loving, decent human being and still be vulnerable to tragedy. My world can be shattered in a moment but it will not destroy my faith. Life can be viciously cruel, but it is still worth caring about and embracing in all its vibrancy. Radical faith involves risk and vulnerability. There are lots of other stories in the scriptures about this same kind of transformational moment, and our first reading is full of it also. When we move from the relative safety of faith as obedience to a certain set of conventions to faith as radical trust in the living God, it always involves letting go of something, perhaps old ways of behaving, old images of God, perhaps certain attitudes towards others in order to embrace something new and larger and different. It always involves stepping towards something new and better, expressed as a promise of God or an unrealized dream. For Peter, it was the discovery of a new and enlarged image of Jesus. As we hear him, he and his companions confess at the end of the story, truly you are the Son of God. 
For Martin Luther King Jr., it was the promise of a better future for African Americans in this country. This transformational step always involves uncertainty, the potential for failure, and the need to depend utterly upon God. To make it happen, we come to the end of our ability to make it happen. But the beginning of God's freedom to act. If we look at our own lives, how would we describe the type of faith by which we live? Would we call it simple faith or radical faith? Perhaps we've experienced radical faith in the past, but today our faith is getting stale. We've been hardened by disappointment, resentment, or other losses along the way. Perhaps for us it is a matter as small as recommitting to the burdens that we've already carried, but to carry them in a new way, being open to spend ourselves with love and vulnerability until the end trusting in God to give us the love that we need day after day? Or is there some small step of faith into the unknown that God is nudging us toward these days? A step away from safety and certainty, a step that requires risk, vulnerability, and trust, but also holds the promise of something better, richer, more fruitful, and abundant. If we never get out of the boat, how will we ever experience the joy of serving a truly living God who walks on water and raises the dead? Prepare our belief in this God who promises to be with us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born in the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died in the Spirit. He descended into hell. On the third day, He arose again from the dead. He is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In trust, faith, return to our God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, May we experience and share the peace of Christ in the midst of the storms of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord on the 75th anniversary of the atomic bombing of Nagasaki, we pray that nuclear weapons will never be used again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are working to develop medications and vaccines to fight COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Beirut, and for all those who suffered in Hurricane Isaiah, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the school administrators, faculty, and staff who are planning the safe reopening of schools, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, especially Pat Bertucci's three-and-a-half-year-old grandson, Roman, who has a brain tumor, may they know God's healing for their spirits and their bodies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Kathy and Jack White on their 50th anniversary, and for Luis and so Socorro Zuniga on their anniversary, for whom our prayers are requested. And for all who have died, especially Bruce Durani, may they share in Christ's victory over death and rejoice in God's presence forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all the prayers in our intention books and those concerns in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Tomorrow at the 10:30 Mass, a young person by Jason Downer uh, will be celebrating his first Mass. Jason was ordained in Philadelphia today. Uh, he was a study of the Jesuits. And uh, you might remember his mother, Gina, was a pastor associate here uh, for several years. So we ask God's blessing for Jason and his ministry and for his whole family. And for the Delawises, we're going to be moving to Texas in a very short time for God's blessing and peace. Going to Texas right now, that's a tough move. <laughs> Lord, all that we carry in our heart, we entrust it into your loving care. And in that trust, <clears throat> like Peter, we pray to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Spirit, 
like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the night before he was to suffer, and on the night of the last supper he took bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body. It will be given up for you. In a similar way, as supper was ending, he took a chalice, again giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal common. It will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. And so in Jesus' memory we proclaim Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. As we remember the death and the resurrection of Jesus, we, your people gathered here, offer you, loving God, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered together as one body by your Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your people, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvador, our Bishop, Matthew, our Bishop Emeritus, and the entire people who son is gained for you. We remember today, Lord, especially our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of resurrection. Welcome them now, Lord, into the light of your presence. Be with all of us, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, your spouse, with all of the men and women who have pleased you through the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We join our voices, our hearts, and in the words of Jesus together we pray now. Our Father, who art in heaven, thou will be heaven. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles and to us, Peace I leave with you. My own peace I will share with you. Lord, you don't look upon our faults or failings, but rather look upon the faith that brought us all here tonight. And graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May God's peace be with you. And with your spirit. And let us offer to one another the sign of peace.
the Lord Jesus, who reached out and caught Peter's hand. The same Lord Jesus comes to us to take our hand. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I don't want to say a word, and my soul shall be known. In gospel faith, may we come to share this presence.
we pray in thanks. May this community of your sacrament that we have consumed save us, Lord, and confirm us in your light of truth. We pray to you, our God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we conclude, perhaps we could ask a special blessing for all of those who are celebrating anniversaries this day. Any other anniversaries, by the way? They must be, so we'll ask God's blessing for all, celebrating sooner or later, okay? <laughs> to each of these intentions, through masks, if you say, Amen. Amen is an affirmation. It means that we're expressing is our wish. May Almighty God, with this word of blessing, unite your hearts in an everlasting bond of pure love. Amen. May your children bring your happiness and your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. Amen. May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you both in joy and sorrow. And may the blessings promised to the compassion be yours in abundance. Amen. 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 May our gracious God, who stands with us in every moment of our journey, know God will continue to bless each of you in special ways now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks, everybody. What a nice thing. Thank you so much.